In my second video for Frontline, I will complete the Hedgehopper achievement where you have to kill all the Nazis and Communist soldiers. I will also show you how you can find golden bullets, unique weapons and how to gain some moral points for the alternative ending. In a few words, things that you can't do if you stay in the shadows and complete the Invisible Man achievement. Even the apocalypse didn't stop us from killing one another over ideology. I was about to go through the front line between the Nazis and the Communists. I heard they once fought another war, and that the Nazis lost. After studying the level, I decided to show you how you can kill everyone in both sides without raising the alarm and by wasting very few bullets. In a case where I raise the alarm and start shooting with regular weapons, I wouldn't have too many useful tips since the most important factors are to have good aim and to find fast the exact position of the soldiers. The first thing is clearly up to you and the second varies depending for example from where you are shooting them. If you decide indeed to raise the alarm and not kill them silently as I do, I remind you that at Armory there is a heavy armor available that will make you sustain much more damage. If you follow my method, you will need the night vision goggles and a Helsing. The goggles can be found inside the stash at the beginning of the tunnel together with some golden bullets, but the Helsing with scope can be purchased only at Armory. Of course, you may have a regular Helsing from Dead City 1. It would be very good to have the stealth armor as well, but that's something optional. In most cases, I like to have one pneumatic weapon with me in levels with human opponents. Preferably a Hellsink that can kill heavily armored soldiers with one shot. Now that the commander talks to the soldiers, it is very good to reload your weapons and charge your flashlight slash goggles. Once he gets off the rail car, you can overpressure the Helsing and kill the two last soldiers of the convoy. But before you shoot, make sure that the one in front of them has almost disappeared from your screen, because otherwise he may get suspicious. You could kill all three of them, but this would be riskier and completely unnecessary in my opinion. When you will take shots where your target is far away from you, Make sure that the Helsing is properly pumped, otherwise the shot may not be deadly, and this will raise the alarm. Make sure that you blow up all the lamps you pass by, this will give you a chance to move more freely, and in this case it will conceal the bodies as well. I would like to mention that only for this level I have changed my mouse settings. Specifically, I have only one level at the aim sensitivity setting, cause I want to ensure that I can hit the soldiers at the exact spot that I want. Now that you have killed the soldiers right across this section of the communist side, you can go in the lower level and kill two more. If you want, you can go closer to hear their conversation and gain one moral point, but I won't do it because I want to gain some time 
and make the video as shorter as I can. It is absolutely safe that he screamed since there isn't any soldier near this area anymore. Now you are free to collect your arrows back and the ammo from the dead bodies. Also close to the radio in the middle of the platform you will find a military grade cartridge. The next 5 soldiers I will kill are very important for this method to work. The shots I will take are difficult for two main reasons. First, the lighting on the other side is so limited that you can hardly see the soldiers and even harder the weak spot of their armor. The second reason is that my targets are very far away from me, so almost after every shot I have to pump my Helsing. For the guard that handles the machine gun, make sure you fire from the same place and aim at the same spot with me. A bit lower will make you hit the fence and a bit higher his armor. Inside the destroyed train, you can find a tihar and some ball bearings. I strongly recommend to not take this weapon if you want to kill the soldiers silently, since it is weaker against these soldiers and it won't kill them with one shot. The last two soldiers of the five I mentioned before can hardly be seen without the night vision goggles, so I suggest to wear them first after memorize their position and then try to kill them. Also, I recommend you to shoot from the same spot with me, cause once you kill the first soldier, the second will turn towards him and give you a clear shot to his back. You can't kill the rest soldiers from here, so you can proceed in the lower level. Don't forget to collect the ammo from the bodies and the nearby stars. Inside it you will also find a silenced revolver that I will take with me because it can come very handy later on. It is very important to wear your night vision goggles here because there are some holes on the floor that can make you fall down and die. The soldier that has been sentenced to death must die, but not necessarily from you. You can leave the communist soldiers do it. Once the commissar and the soldier have split up, you can kill them and collect the ammo from their bodies. Basically, you may not be able to collect the ones from the soldier, cause once you shoot him, his body will probably fall down.
Next, you should climb up the stairs and stop right before you reach the top. You will hear three soldiers talking about the Nazis attacks. Do not hurry, wait for them to end their conversation and split in different directions. Then you will be able to take them down one by one without any problem. When you kill opponents that are close to you, instead of the Helsing, you can use throwing knives, but have in mind that there are slightly bigger chances to be spotted. After you kill them, you can collect the ammo from the bodies, but you should not hurry to leave this area. There are two injured soldiers close to the stairs that must also die, and a small basement that can be explored. To collect the ammo, you can use the night vision goggles that, in my opinion, will help you see better than the flashlight. I won't use them for much time, because I know that it may be a bit tiring for you. I try to use them as less as possible. Do not forget the two bodies across the bridge, if they haven't fallen down after the shot. You can find grenades in various places in this level, but I don't think you will need them if you collect the ones from the dead soldiers. The two injured soldiers can be killed with every single weapon you have, but I advise you to kill them with one regular grenade, cause it's the only weapon that won't cost you one moral point. Make sure that they are dead with one of your weapons, and if they are, you have successfully killed every soldier in the communist side of the level. At the entrance of the basement, you will find a stash with a gas mask and one filter. In order to go down, you will have to wear your gas mask cause there is radiation. In the one body there is at the basement, you will find some ammo, one automatic shotgun with bayonet, and some night vision goggles. You will also be awarded for reaching this spot with one moral point. In my next video for Metro, I will show you how to kill silently all the soldiers at the Nazi side of the level 2 and complete the Hedgehopper achievement. I hope you liked my video. 
Don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching, guys.